So, uh, welcome to this uh, sec uh, next lecture. Uh, last lecture I have discussed about the Z parameter, uh, parameters of network, how to find that. So, today we will be discussing what is called as a reciprocal network. So, what is a reciprocal network? Basically, reciprocal network uh, <coughs> is that in which uh, the, uh, from any side if you see the network looks the same. So, let us discuss that. So, if we consider the arbitrary network given in the figure that uh, we have already considered in previous discussions, with all circuit placed at the terminal planes except those ports 1 and port 2. So, I just considering that port 1 and 2 are open and all the circuit are short circuited. Short circuited means a plate is connected there. So, in this case, if E A H A and E B and H B. So, what are these? If these are the electric field and magnetic field respectively <coughs> for two ports, then the field anywhere in the network due to the independent sources A and B. So, it is saying that in port 1 and port 2, if there is a source A and if there is a source B and the electric field is represented as E A and H A for source A and E B and H B are the electric and magnetic field for the source B then we can represent the electric field or magnetic field at any place. They can be represented as integration of E cross H dot D S is equals to integration closed loop integration of e, e B into H A D S. So, what does it signify? That means, if this condition is satisfied, in that case it is called as the reciprocity. Okay? So, that is why if, if we can say it reciprocal if its condition that is. So, where S is the closed surface means if there is a uh, microwave signal is processing uh, means ongoing then if I close the surface then this gives us the actually the total power. So, in the both ways the power becomes same then we can say the network is reciprocity and in this is in case of if we consider the E field and H field. Now, if we consider the using admittance matrix. So, if we use admittance matrix then I 1 will be equals to y 1 1 into v 1 and y 1 2 into v 2. If you are considering only 2 ports, that is why here only 2 ports v 1 and v 2 is there, y 1 1 and y 1 2 is there. And if uh, i 2 has to be calculated, then it will be y 2 1 v 1 plus y 2 2 v 2. So, how does this matrix will look like? So, this will be somewhat like this. So, this is i 1 and i 2 that is equals to y 1 1 y 1 2 y 2 1 and y 2 2. So, this is the admittance matrix and that is uh, multiplied by v 1 and v 2. <coughs> so, this is what the matrix uh, can be written in this equation form. So, for a 2 port network it is said to be reciprocal when if the voltage appearing at port 2 due to a current applied at port 1. Okay, understand? the voltage appearing at port 2 due to current applied at port 1 is same as the voltage appearing at port 1 and the same current is applied to port 2. So, it is saying that if I just take a network which has two ports, if I consider this side as port 1 and this side at port 2. So, it is saying that <coughs> let us say some I 1 current is there in port 1 and because of the I 1 current V 2 voltage is here. So, in second case, if I 2 current is here and V 1 voltage is here. So, it is saying that if V 1 and V 2, so if that becomes equal, then the network is called as a reciprocal network. So, exchanging of voltage and current results in an equivalent definition of the reciprocity as well. So, this is the condition where you can say the, volt, uh, the network is reciprocal. So, in general a network will be reciprocal if it consists of entirely linear passive components that is resistors, capacitors and inductors. Because uh, um, <coughs> these are the elements they can be used in either side. So, in general it will not be reciprocal if it contains active components such as generators. So, they do not act uh, uh, similarly if the inputs uh, has been changed. So, in that case we can say it is a reciprocal network. if z equals to z transpose or y equals to y transpose. That means, the impedance matrix or the admittance matrix does not change if I change the uh, matrix. So, if this is the <coughs> impedance matrix earlier, so if this is transpose means row becomes column, column becomes row. So, y 1 1, y 2 1 and here y 1 2 and y 2 2. So, if it is written like this, then these two networks become same. Okay? So, this is what the reciprocal says. 
Next, another type of network is lossless network. So, as the name is suggesting that no power should be lost there. So, uh, consider a reciprocal network of n port junctions as we have considered the previous case. <coughs> so, network is said to be lossless. When it is lossless, when the delivered, the, the real power delivered to the network must be 0, that is real of p average is equal to 0, real part of the p average that is equal to 0. So, in other words, we can say the total power uh, going to the network is 0. So, in other, word, other words, we can say that total amount of power going inside the network is, is equals to total amount of power coming out of the network. So, that is what the p average is equal to 0. Now, how the p average is calculated in voltage terms? So, it is 1 by 2 V of transpose into I. So, why this transpose is taken again? Because and both are taken as a column matrix. So, to get the uh, multiplication, it has to be transpose and the I conjugate. I conjugate means the complex conjugate of I. And that also can be written as V into Z, uh, V in Z into I. So, because V equals to Z I. So, in that case, Z matrix into I matrix and is transpose. Or else, it can be written as I transpose Z into I. Okay. So, why this uh, uh, I transpose is there but Z is not there because Z should be a reciprocal network. That means, for being powerless, uh, lossless power, uh, network, the network has to be reciprocal as, as well. So, here if you take, so this will be how much this will be Z transpose into I transpose. So, a Z transpose will be equals to Z. So, that is how this equation is coming. Okay. Next is what will be the P average now if you write in the matrix form. So, that will be like this 1 by 2 the current matrix into the Z matrix into the conjugate of the current matrix. So, this is how we will get the P average and it is saying that the total value should be equals to 0. Total value means real of this should be equal to 0, then it is called as a lossless network. And <coughs> in lossless network, if we uh, try to solve a problem to check whether it is lossless or not, so how do we do that? So, identify the given networks are reciprocal or lossless network. So, Z matrix is given. So, here J2, 0 0.2, J3, 4, minus 2, 0 0.5, J1 and J4 is given. So, here if we check for the <coughs> reciprocity, so we can clearly see here that the transpose of this matrix is not equal to the original matrix. That, that means, in this case Z is not equal to Z transpose. So, it is not reciprocal. So, if it is not reciprocal, then obviously it is not lossless. Now, if we say this one, J2, J0.2, this one. So, <coughs> so this becomes what? This becomes your um, lossless network, but it is not reciprocal network. Okay. So, <coughs> next is if we see this one, then this is you can see this is reciprocal because J3 is here, J3 is here, and then if we transpose, then this is this will go here and this will come here. So, basically this becomes a reciprocal network, but not lossless, it will not follow that. And again this is reciprocal and lossless both. Okay. So, uh, just looking at the matrix, we can identify whether this matrix, uh, whether the network is a lossless or a reciprocal network. Okay. So, next is, uh, the, uh, we will solve a question. So, find the Z parameters of the two port network. So, here two port network is given and the question is find what is the Z parameter of this network. So, in terms of matrix form. So, if there is two ports, then there will be how many Z parameters? There will be four Z parameters will be there. What are those? So, Z11, Z12, then Z, <coughs> Z21 and Z22. So, we need to find what are the values of this. <coughs> So, how to find? So, Z11 can be found as the input impedance of port 1 when the port 2 is open circuited. Okay. So, input impedance at port 1 when the port 2 is open circuited. So, impedance is how much? V by I. So, if you are considering Z11, then we are just talking about port 1 and again port 1 and port 2 is taken as open circuit, nothing is connected there. In that case, it is as V1 divided by I1. How much voltage is, how much current is applied at uh, port 1 and accordingly how many, how much voltage is observed at port 1 that gives you the impedance of port 1. So, that is Z11. 
Now next is Z12. So how to find the Z12? So the transfer impedance Z12 can be found by measuring the open circuit voltage at port 1 when a current of I2 is applied in port 2. Okay. So that means if a current of I2 is applied here, then at the open circuit condition, what amount of voltage is observed here? So that will give you the um, uh, input impedance for Z12. That means input at port 2 and output at port 1. So Z12 is equal to similarly V1 that we are going to get if I2 is applied at port 1. And in this condition, I1 is equal to 0. There is no input given from the port 1. So if voltage division rule is applied, then it becomes how much? So this V1 is how much? V1 is equal to V2. Okay, so V1 is equal to V2 into. So where is the voltage? Is uh, voltage is across this obviously because this V1 voltage is nothing but here we can get the V1 voltage by voltage divider rule. So that means Zc divided by the total resistance. So Zb plus Zc. As this is open circuited, so this won't be uh, its behaves as not in the circuit. So that's why total resistance becomes Zb and Zc. And what is the voltage across? Zc. So, that is how the voltage uh, impedance is there. Now, this value is used here as in place of V1. So, that is equals to V1. So, in this case, V1 is replaced by V2 into Zc by Zb plus Ic, Zc and I2 is there. So, that is equals to, we can say this Zc also. Okay, this is Z12. Now, as this is a, you can see this is a reciprocal network. So, uh, why I can see reciprocal network? Because if you look at the network, from any side you see, the it looks the same. Okay, that's why it is a uh, reciprocal network. And uh, if we find Z12 or Z21, both will be same. And what will be Z22? So, Z22 is nothing but if you give input at port 2, how much voltage you get at port 2 when uh, the other port or the port 1 is short circuited. When the port 1 is short circuited, sorry, uh, port 2 is, uh, said port 1 is open circuited, that means the current value is 0 there. <coughs> so, that is again equals to Zb plus Zc, V2 by I2, here V2 by I2. So, if this is open circuited, then the total resistance is Zb uh, plus Zc. In the initial case, if this port 2 was open circuited, so this will not be there in the circuit. So, it is Za plus Zb, Zc. So, Za plus Zc in the first case. Second case is can be taken as only Zc or Zc divided by Zb plus Zc. So, because why uh, here V2 by I2. So, V2 by I2 is uh, V2 divided by I2 that is nothing but again Zb plus uh, Zc that gets cancelled here only Zc remains here. So, this is how this uh, can be found out. So, <coughs> next we will see the scattering matrix which is the important factor here or it is also called as the S matrix. So, that we are going to discuss in the next lecture. So, just understand what is your uh, Z matrix, what is reciprocal network and what is a lossless network and how to find the Z value if um, uh, the impedance is given. So, we will meet in the next video.